Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Jedi and Sith, to another video where instead of the traditional some good news, instead I'm going to be giving my initial reaction and thoughts to using Mandalorian. These initial video clips are going to be from the Galactic Bounty events, specifically the Rebel Officer Leia Organa mission and the Sismar mission. Now, these recommend a level of gear 9. My bounty hunters are gear 8 uh, in. Bosk, Django, and Grief, Mando's gear 10, and Boba's gear 9. I have completed both of these events before. Both were two star completions, but I needed to use the best mods on my bounty hunter, so I had to transfer all my mods over to the bounty hunters even to complete these missions. And just with Mando and Grief, I was able to actually complete these without much difficulty. This is the second time for the Rebel Officer Leia event, and the first time I was able to three-star it, which I had not done before, and this time I unfortunately lost, I believe, Grief Karga or Bosk near the end, but otherwise it is a very good run, and I'm going to get into some of the benefits of using Mando. First, he, both it, and Django instantly start with a buff at the beginning of the game, which means whenever they score a critical hit, the buff and the critical hit contribute to the contract without having to gain buffs from anything. They already have it because Bounty Hunter Resolve is considered a buff. And also Grief Karga at the start of the encounter has stealth, which is very helpful in allowing him to then again have that buff and score a critical hit, which contributes to the contract so much quicker and Bounty Hunter Resolve triggers there, which is so helpful since all three of them have it. That you really don't have to worry about one of them dying. They'll just come right back and you'll take care of everyone else. Second, that big, big stun from Bosk and the all-in attack from both him, i.e. Bosk, and Grief Karga are so helpful in triggering that contract because with Grief Karga, he gives buffs already especially if that assist is cons completed and when mando Django, and boba all have buffs and attack in that group swarm it counts towards that contract yet again and you're able to trigger it so fast just you can get it within one or two matches and this one i believe it's two but you pretty much get it instantly next the AOE from Boba Fett is so helpful because look how many critical hits we scored there and because he has the buff of Bounty Hunter's Resolve, all count to Nano's contract. So you can get five critical hits with the buff and that's five out of the 20 that you then need to get. And so four of those and you instantly get a contract trigger. This also applies to Boba Fett's flame. As you can see here, those were critical hits, which again apply to Mando's contract because of Bounty Hunter's resolve on Jango Fett. At this point, I'm looking at Grief's abilities because I want to regain some protection, as right there, because whenever a buff is gained, they recover protection from his unique ability, which is only an Omega. Now here is a bit difficult not to use Mando's ability because of all these guys taunting, but fortunately, Grief has counter chance built into his kit, and so he is able to daze one of them, so I wasn't too worried about to go up, going after them and attacking that unit. Zeta, which would definitely make this team a lot better, would be the one on Grief Karga, which allows him to dispel debuffs, which would help get rid of that stun on boss, and also for like ability buffs on Mando and other units where you are stopped from using like an AoE from Jango or Boba Fett, it'd be very helpful to have that cleanse, but sadly that is a Zeta ability, which shows how helpful and unique Rex and General Kenobi's cleanses are because they are only a Mega, and here it's tied to a Zeta on Grief Karga, and here in a second, Pew! goodbye Thesis Mar. It's still so fun to use that ability 
even after using it so many times and we're going to be able to use it many times in the rebel roundup event now right off the bat we are going to try and use as many aoes as possible so that we can then start racking up those critical hits and as you can see we got one two three four five and eventually we'll have we're gonna get rid of Baze here with grief and when boba fett gets his turn we'll use his aoe as well now i've done this event before but i had to use my imperial troopers even though i have a seven star greedo and a seven star IG-88 and um, Cad Bane, they still were not able to ever get through it with a Jango Fett or a Bosk lead. It just never worked. And so it was really cool to see these bounty hunters actually be able to get through the first wave really easy and already trigger the contract. As you'll see through this event, Grief's unique ability, which allows them to recover health and protection, as well as Bosk recovering health and protection from his payout. It's going to be really easy and keep fluctuating between low to high. And it'll just keep going back and forth, which helps us keep them alive. Now, in these first two phases, I never used that far right ability, the special one. Uh, many disintegrations which actually increases your damage output through the roof and makes it so much easier so i would definitely make sure you trigger those as frequently as possible especially since mando's disintegration ability practically is a free bonus like you can just click the one on the right it gives you critical chance and offense up which then unlocks his disintegration ability which then you can just disintegrate an enemy and you just got the extra offense bonus from that. Now throughout this, as you can see, I'm weakening the team so that then that ability will be able to be used easier. And I at first didn't know that it gave you crit chance up, so I didn't think that Mando would be able to disintegrate anyone. So I was just going to go after like Kanan, but with disintegration available, I just got rid of Chopper easy peasy. And then. All these weak enemies just keep falling to them with using them and need disintegration and their offense is just going to grow and grow throughout the rest of this battle. Not going to lie, I was running out of breath there. I didn't ever pause or use a period. And now it was annoying that Sabine put armor shred, but fortunately it does not carry over because that would have been very annoying to try and handle through the rest of the battle. And actually, by the end of this, we will lose Bosk anyways. And I bet if that armor shred stuck on him through the entire battle and missions it would have been a lot sooner that he died and it would have been a lot harder to win however this is moving a lot faster than my imperial troopers or even bounty hunters beforehand and i had a decent bounty hunter team and this is only two three star characters there's only one seven star character on that and it's boba fett Jango's sitting at 5 stars, and Bosk is get, sitting at 4. There are a couple of misplays with the many disintegrations where there are opportunities I could have used it and forgot to or used it at the wrong time. Pretty much your, once you get 2, especially in this early stage, it's pretty easy to just one-tap people. And so once you get 2 stacks of those on them, it's pretty easy just to wipe out people and you can feel pretty comfortable with triggering it but if you're not comfortable wait until they're about in the yellow or red and then well if it's in red you should be able to kill them even with one bonus many disintegration and you'll see here Mando with his shock prod is going to get a lot of damage and is just going to start tearing people apart and it's actually kind of funny because there are several times where I asked Django to assist and then it was never needed and I, and I didn't realize that Mando would just obliterate people with that ability as seen here. Now like I said before this is only a three star Mando and a three star Grief Karga so sadly I'm not able to use them in the higher tiers but it's still very incredible the work they're pulling because generally some three-star character at gear eight being able to get through this that's very hard and grief survives the entire battle and if i remember correctly 
Bosk is also a gear 8, and so is Jango Fett. And so it's incredibly amazing that all these great characters are able to get through this first phase. And by phase, I mean the first event tier of Rebel Roundup. And here's yet another example of Mando just destroying people. So for initial review and decision on what type of squad you want for the Mandalorian team, you're going to want a team that can get buffs easily and also have AoEs. So Jango Fett and Boba Fett are great choices. Also, you're going to want people who are going to be able to call mass assists like Grief Karga and Bosk, and this will just allow for that contract to be triggered really quickly. Now another point I forgot to mention within this review and initial impression is that Boba Fett can attack twice and Jango Fett can attack twice too. So, yet again, another opportunity to even score more crits, which when you then call everyone to assist, if you didn't kill him the first time, Jango Fett might follow up for a second and so might Boba. Now because I've used the mini disintegration ability so many times, these stacks of disintegration, that's what I'm going to call them, have increased their damage to a point where you can just blow people away like what Jango Fett just did there and we just start getting rid of pretty much all these pesky rebels and it doesn't take long at all to kill off Commander Luke and his surrounding teammates which when I use my Imperial Troopers I have to save Colonel Veers, or sorry General Veers big AOE slash call to assist on my Commander Luke to get rid of them but we've already gotten away two people with zero death marks and it just was very easy to do it and here shortly Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum will take her turn and kill off Bosk which I mean but then she's all by herself so I'm not too disappointed it was just kind of sad that I wasn't able to three star it but goodbye Ahsoka conclusion I definitely think Mandalorian and Grief Karga helped the bounty hunter squad and make them a lot better and I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you did consider leaving a like or even subscribing and as always this has been the Grand Admiral and end transmission.